Good evening, everybody. It's Saturday night, and we could try something we've never done before. Um, Brenda is gonna mow hay. So she has Cannon and Buck. Now, this is the first time she's ever mowed hay. Um, she's actually used the horses a lot. Um, before our kids were old enough, she did an awful lot with the horses, but now but as the kids got older, they actually took over and did a lot of the work. So she did less, but now that the kids are gone, um, she's starting to do a little bit more. But for some reason, I've never taught her how to mow hay. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Um, as we progress, we'll stop periodically and I'll um, explain to her a few things, explain to everybody else a few things, and uh, we'll just see where this takes us. So you're all ready to go? I'm ready. Okay. So I'm going to just go over a few things that you already know and, and probably everybody would know, but just to make sure people do know. So this lever right here puts it in and out of gear. So just grab it with your heel of your toe and a heel with your heel and pull it into gear. That's out of gear now. So grab your heel up here. Oh, up there. Oh, like that? Pull, pull it back. back. Yep. And now it's in gear. Now take it. Do it two or three times. And that's very important that you know how to do that because there'll be times where you, when you plug up, you've got to unplug it, uh, shut it off before you unplug it. So that's how you do that. So. You want it back in gear right now? It's, it's ready to go right now. It's ready to mount. So. So this is in gear this way? Yes. Okay. So the next thing is, you know, you'll drive the horses like you would drive any time. Right. Buck, you want him to walk right on that swath path mm -hmm. where the where the swath board has cleared a path. And this shoe right here also will follow him right in that swath path. Now, that's important because if it goes into the standing hay, it will knock it down. And if it goes too far to the left, it'll get into the hay that's already cut and it'll plug it up more. So the next thing you have to be concerned about is you want this cutter bar in the air until you get right to that swath path from the other side, and then you want to drop it down. Now to drop it down, all you do is grab this hand like that, and stop and drop it down. I know. Yeah. So to pick it up, you want to put your foot here, plus there, and do it together, and it'll, it'll snap right up as much as your foot as your and it snaps right in place <laughs> it's uh, just a practice thing so so go ahead and do that to the cup guys so drop down. it down perfect perfect Oops. Now, now sometimes if you look right here and if you push that down push your foot down but you see this this dog right here, that has to be all the way down. So you're not, you've got to push down just a little bit further on this handle, push down a little further, and that will tend to drop into place. It doesn't look like it is, but. Um, Should I let go? Yeah. No, it's not. Uh, maybe it's because you're holding the, see how that dropped in place? Yeah. Um, do it and let go, like. Yeah. I feel like I need to practice a little bit. There. If you just watch you this just part, pull. That has to be dropped all the way down for it to hold it. Now that's worn out a little bit too, so that will, if you're going along like this across the field, it will actually, it won't hold it, it'll fall it off, it'll drop. So when I'm going empty, I always put my foot right here and help it, so in case it does drop, I've, I've got it. But anyways, that's another situation. Okay, so I think you should just start going. Uh, it's actually mowing very good tonight. Last night, I mowed the centerpiece of this and it was mowing terrible. I was plugging up a lot. Um, the grass was very wet and it's still wet tonight. Um, I mean, I can almost bring water out of this grass. Um, but anyways, the, the hay will get caught on these. I hope it's on gear. And um, it just plugs up right there. It doesn't stop it anyway, but it just plugs it up. So as you're mowing, Watch the cutter bar very carefully. You gotta keep Buck where he belongs, but you also gotta watch the cutter bar. And I'll follow behind and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll point to it.
so you know what's plugging. Okay. And then I'll tell you to stop. So when I'm ready to go, I just put this down and then I ask him to go. Yeah, make sure it's in gear, and it is. And usually I actually ask them to go, it's all one movement. I just... Yeah, I know. Um, but as long as you're in the right spot, you're okay. So go ahead for this time, just drop it down, and then ask them to go. That's all the way down, yep. right? This is mostly just grass hay out here. We have some pockets of clover that's pretty heavy, um, but mostly grass hay. Okay, did you see that? How's it building up? Uh, Not really. No. Okay. <laughs> Pick up your cutabar. Other way. Wait a minute. I didn't do it properly. Push it down farther. Your hand. Hand. Way down. Way down. Way down. Okay. I'll take it out of gear. Okay, I'm going to do this for you this time. What I do, and with it out of gear, it was plugging up right in this area here, but I generally just take my hand and just kind of, even though I know it's out of gear, I never stick my fingers down in there, obviously. So I just kind of go along the top of the guards and clean this off. And I come right to here. This is what was happening. Oh yeah. So balls right up right there. And you'd think that would fall right off, with first cutting, that basically never happens, but in second cutting, this happens all the time. Some days it's just, you're off all the time to fix this, but it's actually mowing pretty good tonight. So you have to take that physically, grab it and pull it off. So what I do now is I back up about six inches a foot. Back up? Yep. Back up, back up, back. Okay. Ooh. And then I, then I put it in gear. No, put it in gear, and then I ask them to go, and just at the right moment, and it's very important you do this right, I know, but it's very important, you ask them to go, and then you gotta pop that, and you don't have to worry about going all the way down, you just gotta pop it out, it just takes just a tiny and little bit. it's easy to get yes, that up. it's yeah. really easy, but you gotta make sure you do it when this cutter bar is beyond this cut hay. Okay. Because if you drop it too soon, it'll immediately plug up. Okay. So, also with Ken, sometimes he's a slacker and well we won't worry about that. He'll he'll be fine. Okay, so you're in gear. So just ask him to go. Okay. And and then drop it at the right spot. Give it a shot. Step. 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 She did good. Sometimes when I just get a little bit of grass on the end of the guard, I'll just stop and leave my cutter bar on the ground and back up a couple feet and then ask them to go and it will sometimes free up. Oh. I just want to explain something to you and to people. This is a rounded corner, so butt cannot stay in the swath path and be able to cut all this hay. So on these rounded corners, you actually have to walk, butt has to kind of walk by and then turn to be able to get all that hay. The, the problem with with these ends 
is a lot of times I have square corners and I will hear after I go around a couple of times. But on your square corners, they, they know the, the corner is coming, the end is coming, so they actually will automatically want to stop sometimes even before you get your, mo your hay cut. So you gotta kinda keep after your horses to make sure that they don't do that. Ken is a bad one for that, you gotta really watch him. Another trick to way Ken is and the way the situation is, as you're driving and Ken is slowing down, if you take, hold your lines from both ends. If you take your left line like this, toss it up over here, it puts more pressure on Buck and it allows, Ken feels the, the line coming over there so it kind of gives him a little bit of a slap in the butt, but not enough to even, very little, but it helps him speed up a little bit and it puts more pressure on Buck's left bit so he actually slows him down a little bit. So I do that quite often. The problem with that is he will quite often throw his tail over the line and then the tail's under the line. The line is under the tail and you don't really have such good control but sometimes I use that to my advantage. Um, a, it, it's sometimes a help. But anyways, go ahead. Um, it gets really thin through here so you won't have any problem. But, but go ahead. Mm -hmm. Keep it right over there. Keep right there. Okay. Oh. They are used to my voice, so I can pretty well stop them when I whatever someone else is driving but um, it's very thin right here so I just wanted to explain one more time in this corner so we're coming to another rounded corner so just kind of watch more this than buck okay so if you're gonna put buck farther into the cut grass to do it that's fine you have been too far in anyways I know it's hard to see where the grass is because there's not much right here right, yeah. right here but you need to have buck really close to that stain in hay. You're it's, saying I was, you mean I was too You too were too far, far to the left, way. yes. Okay. So, I mean, it's thin, so it doesn't matter, but if you have thick hay, which we'll have in many places here, you're more apt to plug up right here. The places that plug up the most are the right here and on the outside, so. So I need to go like a little further around the corner than just Yes, staying. if you just watch this shoe and uh -huh. keep this shoe where it belongs. Okay, all right. Then just steer them accordingly. Okay, I will try that. All right, go ahead. Oh. Okay, that was fairly good, but the problem is you had that, you were still too far to the left. If there was any amount of hay here, you would have plugged right up. Okay. That shoe has to hang right tight, tight to this tight. standing hay. And on, a, on where there's a lot of hay, you would have really been in trouble and plugged up. One other thing, when you start them, especially when you don't have to worry about the cutter bar, when you ask him to go, if you swing that line over at the same time and ask him to go so that you're hitting him in the butt at the same time, they'll start faster and better. If, if, if you don't do that, after a while, they won't listen to you and they won't go when you want them to go. Okay. So go ahead. Step.
Oh. Okay, you saw or heard how I was kissing him noise to keep him going. He would have slowed right down and potentially plugged up on that corner. Yeah, and that's a very sharp, sharp turn. That'll be the last time we do that. The next time we'll come right out and make a square corner. This next corner will be a square corner. I've already gone around the first time and so it's square. So as you get down by the end, as soon as you go through the last bit of cut of standing hay, I'll keep them, you don't want to stop them there. You want to go a few feet beyond so that they're not, they don't stop too soon. But in the process, you have to pick the cutter bar up. So while they're still moving, you push your foot down and grab one handed here. So you hold your hands with one hand and everything goes down. Go ahead and give it a try. Step. Hip, up, 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 oh. Okay, see what happened here is she had her, she was stuck in the grass to start with and had no head start type of thing. Oh, okay. So, I should have backed up first. You should have backed up first, and I should have told you that, but that's okay. Good uh, learning experience. So, back up a little more. Back up. Now, you have a lot of hay still in there. Back, back up a little more. Hey. Okay. Now, ask, oh, oh, okay, you're free already. So, now. Be ready to drop that in just at the right moment. Oh, I get to practice this. Okay. Yep. Step. It's actually quite hard to teach somebody something that you've done for so long. You almost forget how you do it. It just comes natural to you and you just do it all the time. Um, when you, I told Brenda the a little bit wrong because when I usually get to the end of my to the corner I will actually just use my foot and lift it up and most of the time it actually snaps in place with the foot if you have it adjusted right. Oh. Okay, remember foot. Foot's more important than here because you can always lift it up enough to clear it with your foot. Okay. You don't really have to worry so much about that. You can almost do it everything with your foot. If you push hard with your foot, it comes up. Go ahead, push it up. So, and, and if you have to stand up, and do it. it. Well, it's useful. It's useful right That's okay. But, and then just, okay. So, but the secret is to come through that, is to come through the end there in one swift pass, swift, swift pass and push your foot down while they're still moving and pick it up and then haul it home. Poetry in motion, but it's not easy to do. Yeah, easier said than done. So, also, as you see, you're quite a long ways from there. You really wanted to stop like right here. Yeah, now I gotta back. Now you go back uh, much farther back and get yourself in place. Okay. Um, but if you noticed, as you start coming to that, both of them know that it's going to be time to stop. So you almost have to be ready for that and do something about it before you get there. Like, like give them a, a, a quick a kissing sound just to make sure they go. The problem with these two horses and so many horses, they react differently to that. When you do that, Buck will go faster than and Ken doesn't go quite so fast. But it still, it pays because you don't want it to stop before you get out of the, the grass. Anyways, why don't you attempt to back up and turn into place? So I'm going to back straight up and then... Well, you back up and turn all at the same time and they'll actually do it almost without you. I'm going to, this swath board hangs a little low. And what I normally do is one, I do it just one handed and I actually push down on this to get a little bit more height. But since, uh, since you're doing it, I'm going to just... Uh, hold this up for you so it doesn't get caught. Oh, okay. 
Back up. 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 Okay, you're gonna be way off. Yeah. Uh, no, no. I would say just go for it, but just as soon as you get, you, you just made yourself a big place there. I so know. when you get to that point, you're in gear, drop this down, put buck straight out there, and then turn. You're gonna miss a little bit, but that's the way it is. That's how you learn, I guess. So you head right straight. Just okay, where you're going. just as soon as I think I'm gonna hit that, then. Yes and then steer them into place at that point. Yep. Give it a try. Yep. Drop it down. As I'm sure she'll say, it's a lot harder than it looks. So, Mistakes are done when you're learning, and that's okay. I'm so glad it's mowing good for you tonight. I was afraid to have trouble, and right off it was not good. So when you get up here, you go go right to the fence, square corner. It sure looks like we have another storm coming in. Brenda was telling me afterwards that it was uncomfortable keeping her hand way off to the left to keep that line off to the side of Ken's back and I told her it doesn't have to be. You can keep your hand straight and even if the line is crooked it still works fine. You need to be comfortable when you're driving horses if you want your hands directly in front of you. Just G. Just stand, stay right on it and G. These horses have done this so much, they almost can do it themselves, but sometimes it's pretty hard in the corner, it's just the same. It's surprising, the Amish in our area don't use swath boards. I can't imagine mowing hay without a swath board. It's so easy to plug up right here where I'm walking. If there was no place for that shoe to go. Well, let's see how she does this corner. In some ways this is the worst one because we're headed to the barn. Just forget to hoe. Everything looked good. You just forgot to hoe. <laughs> All right, back them up. When you back them up, don't don't put much pressure on because Buck will back up really fast, anyways. Okay. Can so, you back up that fast? Can I? Yeah. Well, I can, but go ahead. Then I gotta back and turn. Turn all at the same time, and Buck almost does it on his own. Just well, he's a lot of times. Mile now. That's okay. Back him up. Back up. Back up. That jam. Okay, go ahead. Careful tap. Careful tap. Put it on there. Put your foot on there. Plug it up. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Okay, you didn't pick it up, so you're all plugged up. Take it out of gear. Because it's thundering. That's thunder. I was thinking about that, sorry. So take it out of here. Oh, I got a story I got to tell you. Oh, brother. About Otto. Oh, yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> we decided we better call it quits for the night. We had got back to the barn very shortly after we did get a hard shower. I do mow hay quite often just before a rain. The grass is usually the driest then, and we just have so much ground we have to cover, we have to mow whenever we can. It doesn't seem to hurt the hay if you cut just before a rain. I can't believe the weather we've been having. It's supposed to be like 10% chance of rain. 
And we had a shower earlier today, and it's threatening rain right now. Probably won't rain, but I want to tell you a story. Every time I'm out mowing with the blacks and it's threatening rain, I think about it. An old friend from years ago, he told me that years and years ago, he had a pair of black horses and he was mowing hay and it was threatening rain and he decided he could make one more time around. And this is hard to believe, but it was in the paper and everything. Lightning struck and it killed both those horses. He never felt the strike somehow, but uh, it dropped both those horses right there. And I thought about that so many times over the years, so maybe, maybe it's just as well we quit. Anyways, she had a good first lesson. Um, there's a lot to it, but uh, she'll practice some more another time. She's not ready to go solo, but she's had a good first lesson. Okay, I hope maybe you learned some things too, and uh, have a good night.